The Ministry of Education, Culture, Science and Technology launches Access 501 online platform today. Carlos Quiroz is the coordinator at 501 Academy and the visionary behind the new platform. A young Froila Salam, around 2010, 2011, so, wrote a book, The People Who Carved Jade and Their Descendants. So now we can say we are children of the people that carved jade and wrote books. Never underestimate words. In August of 1969, a young Evan X. Hyde published a string of words titled The Rockville Declaration. 55 years later, and hundreds of thousands of words later, that is as hard as jade in our social imagination. Form under intense heat and pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Then there is Leroy, the Grandmaster Young, constantly translating for us the realities of our 501 as he sees it playing out. Access 501 is them, the people I just listed, and many more. It is them, they are us. It is a project to harness energy, 501 energy. It is an attempt to provide access to every Belizean to the raw material for our imagination. The online multimedia platform provides a wealth of resources that delves into information about Belize's past and present in 15 categories. These categories range from technology to the environment, music, cultural videos, and more. Chief Executive Officer in the Ministry of Education, Diane Mejia, spoke to the importance of the platform to education in Belize. Access 501 is a tool it's a tool. The same way that your pen is a tool, or your keyboard is a tool, or your phone is a tool, or this LED screen is a tool, or a hammer is a tool. But a tool is latent action. It does nothing unless you do something with it. It's a potential for learning, and it's a potential for lessons. So the hope is that once this goes live and you all leave here, you will recognize this for the tool that it is and you'll be willing to use this tool because you don't need a special skill set for it. Like I can't build a single thing, you know. So with Access 501, there's no prerequisites. Anybody can use this tool. We made sure of that. Access 501 is also an answer. Access 501 answers the questions of teachers who don't know where to find material. It answers the questions of teacher educators. It answers the questions of students, of parents, of people who say, I, 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 I don't know, even know where to look. I don't have books. Where can I find this? How can I find this? Minister of Education Francis Fonseca was also present at today's launch. He announced the creation of a People's Digital Archives, led by the establishment of this Access 501 platform. This project isn't just about honoring our past. It's about shaping our future. Today, we are thrilled to announce that Access 501 will spearhead the creation of the People's Digital Archive. This initi initiative will open a door for our citizens to share their personal stories, contribute ideas to our nation builders section, and engage in the rich tapestry of what it means to be and become Belizean. This isn't merely an archive. It's a living, breathing reflection of our collective journey and aspirations. Access 501 is a vaccine to fight fire, hurricane, but also to fight growing disconnect. If we don't internalize this, others will take its value. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.